to you, Justin, Hunter, and your team. I asked this to the uh, Sooner student athletes. Uh, besides playing the game as a fan of college baseball, guys, what are your thoughts on Oklahoma and their style of play, your opponent for the next three days? Thank you, and best of luck. Hunter? Uh, yeah, obviously they're a really good team if they're here. Um, I mean, we, we haven't done a, a ton of scouting yet. I'm sure we'll do that later today and uh, tomorrow morning, so we don't know, like, a ton about their hitters or stuff like that yet. But, I mean, they're obviously really good. Their pitching staff's really good, we know that. Their, their hitters are really good, and uh, all the respect in the world for them. Uh, yeah, summer to Hunter. Uh, you have to be a good team to make it, you know, to the national championship. And, uh, you know, I know they have some good arms and some good hitters. Uh, and like, like you said, we're going we're gonna to go over that later today and, and early tomorrow, um, you know, to learn more about it. Skip was talking a little bit about the recruiting trips that you and Dan would take mm -hmm. when he was coaching at JUCO. What do you remember about those trips? And do you see any similarities between his teams now compared to the kids he was coaching all that time ago? And again, you know, back to the default, you know, we, we haven't watched them. I've, I've looked at, you know, a lot of, you know, stats last night and this morning, but I haven't started watching video. Um, uh, just a, a really crazy good offense. I mean, when you look, you, you don't see those types of numbers, you know, in our lake especially. Uh, I think 145 stolen bases out of 188 attempts. Uh, you know, we probably haven't had 188 attempts in three years of uh, stolen bases. Uh, so not only uh, do they steal, they steal at a high percentage. You have three guys that have over 20 stolen bases. And I think, and I, you know, somebody will pull this out, but I can't remember playing a team that had a guy that had over 20 stolen bases this year, except for Vanderbilt and Enrique Bradfield. I, I don't remember looking down at a stat sheet and seeing somebody that had over 20 stolen bases. They have three of them. Uh, and then they have three more that have double digits. And so, uh, uh, but they still hit the homer. They got 70 plus homers. Uh, they hit uh, about 300 as a team. Uh, they score a lot of runs and they do it in a lot of different ways. They bunt, they got almost, you know, 40 sacrifice bunts. So just a, a really good offense. Uh, I don't know Skip well, you know, I've, I, you know, we're you know, in two different leagues and, you know, our paths besides, you know, some recruiting the early days with Dan McDonald, you know, uh, trying to, you know, get as many players out of the Texas Juco system as possible. Uh, but uh, beyond that, you know, to watch, uh, we missed him when, in, uh, I think he got to Texas in 07, 08, somewhere in there. So he wasn't part, I don't believe, of the 05 staff when they came uh, to Oxford for that, that super uh, regional. Uh, but no, he did a great job, you know, obviously at Texas. And then, you know, you know what he's done at Oklahoma, you know, speaks for itself. So a lot of respect. And the people that I do know that know him always speak so highly of him. You know, what a, what a class act he is and, you know, does it the right way. And, um, you know, so, um, you know, that's, uh, uh, he's done a terrific job. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.